Mira and Dreva, the future of Russian tennis, taking on Russian born Elena Rabakina, who is now a resident of Kazakhstan. We know the story behind that. I've explained it a thousand times. Players like Ludmilla, players like Anna Blinkova, Kudamitova. That's right. The Federation felt those were the top Russian stars for the future. And listen, guys, I've also said this a million times. Elena Rabagina, 125, Russia, zero. That's right, because she's got the hardware. She's a Grand Slam champion, but things didn't start off great in this match. She dropped the first set to Mira Dreva that came out guns blazing. She came through qualifiers, and listen, guys, Mira is making these big draws. She's big time. She's only 16. She's out past her curfew, and she's giving it to the Wimbledon champion. That's right. Listen, guys. First set, she won 75% of her service games, literally just dominated Rabakina. But if you watch this match, you notice a trend. Now, me personally, guys, I watched the first set because I had Mira and Dreva winning the first set outright on the money line. That's right. That's a money line lock. I also had Ludmilla. Those are my two picks of the day, my two personal picks. I didn't have an interest in the Jessica Bigula ostapenko match because personally, I honestly felt Ostapenko was going to win the match. I just, Ostapenko, she's too powerful. And I just don't, I didn't see Pigula, even though she owned the head to head, just being able to get to those balls. I mean, Pagula is an amazing player, not the most athletic player, though. And in terms of Iga Magna, I, I just felt Iga would probably come out. It seems like when she plays players that she's close to, she really wants to prove a point, which, look, you need to do that every match, right? She gets up for certain matches. But nonetheless, guys, the theme in this match, as Rabakina would make adjustments, you see Mira and Dreva here deep behind the baseline. Look, she's not going to beat Rabakina playing that deep. Also, Elena coming forward with that height and her reach. I mean, look, if she extends her arms and just jumps, look, we're talking about there's that's a no fly zone, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about she can easily cover 12 feet vertically with that wingspan, that vertical reach. That's a no fly zone with Rebecca at the net, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the theme in this match, guys, Marin Dreva won 75 percent of her first serves in the first set, 73 percent percent of her second serves and that <laughs> those numbers would just decline ladies and gentlemen the second set she won 65 percent of her first serves 29 percent of her second serves and by the third set yeah it was time for her to get home out past her curfew only winning 43 percent of her first serves 22 percent of her second serves now she's only 16 right she she there's schedule limitations on how many matches she can play she clearly doesn't have the stamina. And look, it's understandable. She's only 16. She's playing a grown adult woman who's played nearly 60 matches on the year, all main tour level matches, all tough competition. I think Mira did an amazing job. That's why I took her to win the first set. She comes out very fast. But again, she's taking on a slam champion. I, I give her an A for effort in this match. She played amazing. She had nine chances to break Rebecca up. And now the flip side of that is Elena's performance. In the first set, she won 69% of her first serves, 36% of her second serves. In the second set, she won 72% of her first serves, 47% of her second serves. You notice the upward trend. And by the time we hit the third set, she was firing on all cylinders, 78% of her first serves, 54% of her second serves, 10 aces. And I say it all the time, Elena Rabakin has got the coolest She's got the coolest look when she wins a service game or a match. She takes her right arm, wipes the sweat with her wristband, and just a little smirk. Marin Dreva, congratulations for the effort. You played amazing. The ladies shake at the net, and Mira is the future of Russian tennis. That is a fact. And Elena Rabakina, listen, guys, she's back. The tour better watch out because she's headed to Cancun all systems firing and she might be a threat to win it all if she's healthy tennis in a minute we'll be back amazing comeback for rebecca she's through to the next round